If you zoom out, you can see that the sheet is a lot bigger than needed. We have two ways to solve this problem. We can put more drawings on the same sheet, or use another one. These are called master layouts and are stored in the masters folder in the Navigator layout book. You can create or modify any of these masters and use them as bases for the layout book. You can also place information in them, title blocks, that will be visible on all layouts that use the same masters as a base. You can change the master layout of single and multiple selected layouts and folders too. All you have to do is to select the layout and choose the right master in the list under the properties area of the navigator. Change the master of the west elevation to A4 portrait. Select and drag the drawing to the correct position. Modify the drawing frames on the sides to fit the layout if necessary. When done, Alt-click on the drawing to pick up its settings and hit Escape. To set the same master for all layouts in the A02 Elevations folder, drag the A4 Portrait Master on this folder in the Navigator. To adjust the drawings on all elevation layouts, you can use the Trace Reference. Open the A021E01 North Elevation Layout. Right-click on the A024E04 West Elevation Layout and select Show as Trace Reference. Position the drawing using the traced layout. You can use any snap points on both current and referenced layouts. Using the Control Command plus Alt Click shortcut, transfer default drawing settings to the North Elevation drawing. Repeat these steps with the other elevation layouts. This way you can have a consistent, well organized layout book. Now we'll create the section and additional plan layouts in a separate folder. To do this, we'll just drag the necessary folders from the view map to the layout book. To see both tree structures, we can use the organizer. Open it using the top left button of the navigator. Open the view map on the left side and the layout book on the right side. Select the sections folder in the view map and drag it above the elevation subset in the layout book. The line indicates where the subset will be created. Now select the Floor Finishes Plans folder in the view map and drag it to the layout book below the Floor Plans folder. Thanks to the automatic numbering, the ID automatically appears at the Sections and Floor Finishes Plan subsets and the layouts below are renumbered. Drag the A4 Portrait Master layout onto the Sections subset. Open the A2 Floor Finishes Plans folder, then select the A02.1-1 foundation and the A02.4-2 roof layouts, and delete them by pressing the red cross button in the bottom right corner of the organizer. In the dialog that appears, choose Delete Anyway. The last placed drawings will have the default parameters. This means that they will appear in black and white pens. It's okay for the sections, but we need the floor finishes plans drawings in their original colors. 
So select the zero ground floor and one gallery drawings. In the A02.1 zero ground floor and A02.21 gallery layouts respectively. Right click and choose the drawing settings menu command. In the drawing selection settings dialog, open the size and appearance panel and set the colors parameter to defined by pen set. Then click OK. Finally, select the A01.2 one-story and A01.3 two-story layouts from the A01 floor plans folder. Add the A02.10 ground floor and A02.21 gallery layouts to the selection from the A02 floor finishes plans folder and apply the A3 landscape master layout. When done, close the organizer. Open the newly created layouts and align the drawings to the correct position just as you did earlier. Alt-click on any floor plan drawing to set its parameters to the default drawing settings. 